I'm the executive director of the Partnership for the Delaware Estuary, and we are the host of the Delaware Estuary programs. And today we are celebrating Earth Day, and we're here in the city of Wilmington on Market Street. The idea for Open Streets, really, we started talking about it back in 2020 when COVID hit, and there was the lockdowns, and the streets kind of emptied out, and we noticed like a lot more people walking and biking and. So myself and Sarah Lester with Westside Grows together, you know, we got together, we we're talking about like how can we make this happen moving forward? How can we create that space, that safe space for people to just get outside, get their families out um, and just kind of connect with each other, connect with their communities. And then that's where we got the idea, let's bring Open Streets to Wilmington. Open Streets is a global initiative, cities all over the world do them. And we said, let's bring it to Wilmington and make this happen. This is actually the uh, second annual Open Streets. I've gotten a chance to visit it one time last year, and I hope to be at many more this year. This is actually a great opportunity to come outside, and your neighbors, not just around the corner from you, but all over the city can actually come and spend time together. DuPont Environmental Education Center, which is through Delaware Nature Society. So I am one of the many booths participating in the Open Streets and Earth Day event. We are showing some of the different animals that live in the marsh and we're talking about our different summer camp programs and celebrating the fact that it's Earth Day. Good to see everybody out here on Earth Day. You know, we need to keep the earth clean. I was trying to actually help keep the earth clean by saving some gas and parking here in front of my place where there's a bus here. But at least it's uh, gas free, 100% electric. So that serves a purpose. Get involved with a local organization, get involved with your neighbors, do small things because little things add up to big things. Speaking from also the perspective of, you know, health for ourselves, some that you might notice is a lot of things that are really healthy for you are really healthy for the planet as well. So, you know, eating lots of fruits and vegetables and less meat is healthy for you. It's also really good for the planet. Um, driving a little bit less if it's a beautiful day and it's something that's only a mile away, you can walk or ride your bike. It's really good for you, relieves stress, and it's great for the planet too.